Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you that I do have new watercolors. When I saw these on Amazon, I had to buy them. This is nostalgic thing for me. The, these watercolors are made in Czech Republic. I can show you here, made in Czech Republic. And I know them since I was small, exactly this way. I'm gonna open it and when I saw it on Amazon, I had to buy it immediately, really like straight away. So I'm gonna show you how these watercolors looks like. They were always in the pack of few layers which you can put together in the one beautiful pack. You can, uh, you are like uh, screwing them together. Is that the right word? And when I saw it on Amazon, I just had to buy it. It's very nostalgic for me. I love these colors. I've been using them through to all my school years. My sons have been using them through to their school years. And they was just so brilliant. I'm so pleased with the richness of these colors and how they do react. So today I'm coming to create something and I'm gonna be using my new paper pad. I know uh, many of you who bought that paper pad wants to see some project out of them. So I'm gonna grab some paper. Okay, this one. So first I'm gonna split this on few pieces. So I'm gonna cut that paper right between these two panels and these panels. So there is a line, I'm gonna cut it there. And by the way, thank you so, so much for amazing response on this paper pad I'm, I'm really happy you like that paper pad and i hope you will enjoy to use these papers so i'm gonna be using these as a three pieces i'm gonna fold this one the way that this will be inside the print so fold it on half And I will have inside this one and I can use these pieces on the top or as an additional insert. I will be using Tim Holtz stamps, these and on the book page which I will reinforce with another book page because this is quite soft. So I'm gonna glue two together. And on that book page, I'm going to stamp those beautiful butterflies. And on another book page, but simple one, I will stamp this background. So while I was in that stamping mood, I stamped also other uh, Tim Holtz uh, specimen, oh, not specimen, insects. And I did use my stamping platform because that uh, allows me to stamp a few times if I'm not... I'm not happy with my stamping, which I'm not most of the time. I'm gonna take clear embossing powder, and with this clear embossing powder, I'm gonna emboss every single of these images. So I do have a few of my butterflies and moth cut cut it from those book pages, stamped and cut it. I do have also uh, stamped the background stamp. Here I do have another ones if I will need so. What I'm gonna do now, uh, I'm gonna grab another book page. I'm gonna prepare here my table. So first I'm gonna move this on the side to make sure it will don't get dirty from colors. I've got here my images and booklet so now i can try to do some kind of watercoloring effect i think i've got hit this watercolor brush so I'm, i think i'm gonna use uh, some of these colors from blue palette i'm gonna add just a little bit of that color and then i will add a lot of water into that color Because I don't want to have uh, dark, uh, dark splatters. 
dark spotters I can add there later. Whoa, look at that pigment. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's very pigmented. Okay, I do have my paper here and those parts. So I'm gonna add these parts and just dip it and let them dry. And here Okay, I'm gonna take my heating tool and with the heating tool I'm gonna dry all my papers. So I do have first uh, watercoloring done on uh, all of my pieces. I'm gonna take my brush again and from the other line here I would like to take these two, grey and brown. These. So first I think I'm gonna take that brown yeah and with exactly same uh, process I'm gonna make another watercolored effect I don't want to mix those colors you know watercolors are mixing when you are putting them on the table at the same point they will mix it together I think I'm not gonna put uh, any kind of this brown color here because that book page was a little bit brown from the start so just gonna yeah just gonna dip my small papers in there and my large paper kind of add there all these colors without mixing uh, mixing them together and again I'm gonna let them dry I had to switch on my lights because uh, we have a heavy rain and it's <laughs> so dark outside <laughs> so I do have another layer with my uh, watercolors and I'm gonna add the last layer to all of these four pieces it will be that gray color which is this one so this I think um, I can actually take a lot of that or I can take I can keep this one for a shadowing and the gray yeah gray color I will add with or the gray watercolor effect I will add with black color here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna mix it well with water like really well with water I don't want to have that dark dark black yes just like this and I'm gonna dip in there also my book page all these four pieces okay so I do have my basic uh, watercoloring I also iron it all these pieces to make them flat as much as I can so now I'm gonna take back that background stamp which I have used here on this page and I'm gonna be stamping my paper one more time or maybe I will do just soft stamping I got here this color which I used also on these butterflies oh I thought it will be quite similar it's not so I'm gonna try 
fudded jeans because it looks like the fudded jeans will fit into that blue and I'm gonna do just yes that's perfect just stamping here and there yes like this I'm gonna add a few stamps here as well a few images from the background So here you can see how beautifully they are kind of complete each other and because the color it's not matching I'm not gonna be using these in blue I will be using my butterflies with black stamping and the rest of that stamp of that blue color I'm gonna try to transfer here on my book page and now what I will do I will rip a little bit of this page here of that black ink stamped book page and I will add it right here but before that I will take black ink and ink the edges take my glue and glue it right here So I'm gonna place these parts here and there on my booklet so it looks like this for now I'm gonna do quite similar effect on these small parts that I will rip that other uh, book page where I stamped with that blue one but I will distress it with the black ink as well
So all three pieces I have distressed with the black ink all around and then I did sewn uh, all three pieces with first straight, straight stitching all around and then I added to that large piece here and here a zigzag stitching just to add there some kind of you know interest and I'm thinking to use this as a pocket here probably and pocket here probably somehow so I would like to decorate them and I did a little bit more stamping I used another stamps from Tim Holtz collections and stamped those other book pages and I already fussy cut out <laughs> so many pieces and for the pockets I like these books they are kind of cute you know so I'm gonna be using them I do have some number and here I do have so many numbers so I can use that and maybe this one here yes so I'm gonna glue these pieces and I have also here just left over from my sewing uh, black and uh, black thread which I used on sewing all around of these pages so I'm gonna put that left over right here now this one in there right here or oh, maybe number three that So I can place them this way. I'm gonna add uh, the glue. I would like to have that pocket from the top actually. So I'm gonna add the glue on the side and on the bottom but not till the end and then and then I will add the glue here on the side. like this now I can flip it over and place my pocket on the spot I want to see it now the other one I'm gonna do exactly same this will be a little bit visible on this side so just a little bit of shade the glue on the bottom and on the side and then right here and I'm gonna place my pocket here on the back side and now I'm gonna take this one and use it here underneath to add there a little bit more oh something something and kind of match them all uh, both together so i will place it this way so i do have that strip here i also glued some images inside here that small number it was just placing first this one then this and then over it i glued the butterfly just the body glued with the body and here i do have this and the hand all it's what I stamped on those book pages so there are not just the stamps but also here and there some writing from that book page like on that hand I really like that effect on that hand here and I do have few more stamped images so I'm thinking I'm thinking to glue this butterfly again just with a body and keep the wings free so I'm gonna glue antennas head and the body of the butterfly right in the <coughs> fold of my mini folder or mini booklet Right there I'm gonna let it dry and now 
I'm gonna take my crocodile. First, I'm gonna flip it this way and make a mark. One centimeter. And one centimeter. On these two spots, I'm gonna fix an eyelet. And I had a question <coughs> about my super tiny, teeny ruler. This one quarter of inch ruler. That's actually the opposite side from my wooden ruler. I was quite hard on it and I kind of crushed this side and then it just fell down. So it's wooden ruler which does have those plastic measurements which are glued to that wooden base. So one my plastic measurement just fell out. So that's my teeny tiny <laughs> ruler. <laughs> I forgot to say that before. There and in there. An eyelet right here and an eyelet right here. I think it's glued, so I can try to fold it. I'm going to take this Utah thread. And cut two pieces. I don't need big ones. I'm going to just fold it <clears throat> about two inches from the end. Just to make sure I can go through this loop here with both ends. So first, long one. And then I will try to add there also this short one. And I will go one more time with the long one through to that eye and make a knot here with both. So I do have one side of my closure. And same I'm gonna do on that opposite side. <coughs> so I do have my super simple closure done. And I can add there some very simple tags. So I'm gonna take another book pages, glue them together, I do have here this one with writing, so I'm gonna add the washi tape on the bottom. And I do have here that washi tape from Amity Bloom, so I think that will be actually perfect. Now I can cut two tacks, so I'm gonna cut that bottom on five and three quarter. Make sides straight. And how many? How many I can go? I think three inches will be enough. Oops, sorry for that sound. So three inches. And three inches in that back pocket. And I do have new paper punch. I found it on Amazon and I'm so happy with this paper punch because it should cut the corners in the tuck, uh, you know, that tuck shape. <gasps> oh. 
nice and easy amazing I will put link down below where I found it it's not I'm not obligated to that company it's just I found it and I think that this is perfect because it's cutting the corners to the you know to the tuck tuck shape so I think it's perfect for us for journal makers I'm going to measure middle and at the eyelets here as well on my tags and because I do have quite nice stamping in my butterflies and I do have them from double layer of book page I'm gonna punch the holes in my butterflies as well at the an eyelet and I will make these butterflies a decoration on my tuck and here I do have my simple tags I uh, distress the edges with the black ink to match it all together I can just slide it there and slide it here oh come on go there oh there is that eyelet okay I'm gonna just tuck this tuck <laughs> right here <laughs> so this is my super simple booklet using one of the papers in my collection and Tim Holtz stamps I'm gonna add this one to some mini back and kind of clip it here I'm gonna stack these in glossing back teeny mini short small glossing back tuck it in here close my mini booklet and yeah I need to cut this one a little bit shorter so I will cut it later so this is my sharing for today I hope you did enjoy it I know it's nothing uh, you know it's nothing too much complicated I hope you found some inspiration and you will pull out your stamps and uh, washi tapes and all kind of stuff maybe you can use also watercolors if you do like watercoloring I do enjoy especially with these because oh, it so remind me my childhood so this is my sharing for today I hope you did enjoy my little creation using my papers watercolors and Tim Holtz stamps thank you so much for visiting me today thank you so so much for sharing your time with me have a beautiful day take care about yourself and i will see you soon bye